Hello, everyone. My name is Corey Davidson, and the ladies and I are here tonight to talk about ascension symptoms. What are ascension symptoms? How do they feel? Sometimes they feel good. Sometimes they feel weird. Sometimes they feel uh, not so good. So we're going to talk tonight about ascension symptoms and how you might um, we'll give you a little tips on how you might uh, get through your ascension symptoms a little bit easier, or maybe not be so afraid of the ascension symptoms. Maybe have a little bit of amusement about your ascension symptoms. So um, we also appreciate if you like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And we're here for you. We do this all for all of you so that uh, you don't have to go through it as individually as we did. And if we can make uh, this journey easier for you just by sharing our knowledge, that's why we're here. So tonight, Ascension Symptoms. Peyton, would you like to start tonight? I would love to, thanks, Corey. Uh, hey guys, I'm Peyton. And Ascension Symptoms are such a huge topic. Uh, in the spiritual community. If you are on social media, you see people talking about them all the time. Uh, and so I think one of the, maybe the best place to start with this is to just talk about what they, what this word even means, because it's something that has popped up fairly recently. I would, I would say it crossed my path within the past two years um, is the first time I had started hearing, you know, everyone in the spiritual community talking about ascension symptoms. Um, and so, what we're talking about when we talk about ascension symptoms is weird things that can happen in your body um, as we are going through this process of ascension, where the collective is we're all raising our consciousness, we are all doing our personal work and raising our personal vibration. And because of that, we can start to go faster in our spiritual development than our physical bodies can always keep up with. And so um, a term has popped up in the intuitive community that calls kind of some of this bodily weirdness. Uh, and like Corey was saying, some of these symptoms can be um, kind of just peculiar. Some of them can be a little alarming and some of them are just really entertaining. And so we're gonna talk a little bit about all the different kinds of symptoms that you can have. Um, but before we jump into that, a quick disclaimer, of course, we are not doctors. Um, so we are talking about ascension symptoms purely from an energetic perspective as teachers and healers. So as always, if something is going on with you and you're not feeling well, see a doctor. Don't take what we're saying in this video as any sort of medical advice because that is not how it's intended. Um, so with that being said, um, what ascension symptoms are, are People who are doing a lot of spiritual work can start to feel um, different sensations, different uh, symptoms in their physical bodies. Even if they're in perfect health and you know everything is, is going well with them, they just notice that their body is responding to these intense energies very differently. And so that's what we're talking about when we talk about ascension symptoms. It's the way your body is reacting to your spiritual work, all this great work that you're doing on yourself, um, but also to the intense energies that are hitting the planet right now. If you follow the Schumann resonance, it has been spiking like crazy. If you follow the solar energy and the magnetosphere, you can see that even over the past two weeks, we've been hit with intense planetary energies. And so all of these work their way into our physical structures and can cause our bodies to react to these very strong energies. And so when that does, we call it an ascension symptom. So personally, I noticed that I'm very sensitive to Schumann resonance fluctuations and also to the solar energies. And so when those are particularly high, I might notice that I'm more tired than usual or that I get more headaches than usual. And so that's kind of what we're talking about with ascension symptoms. And each of us is completely unique as to how our bodies process this energy. So what an ascension symptom means, because there's so many you can look up you know, online and see that 
every kind of symptom you can imagine, uh, someone will describe it as, as an ascension symptom. But what it means when we have these sensations we're noticing in our physical bodies is that we are being upgraded. We are processing higher vibrational energies, either as a result of the spiritual work we're doing or as a result of what's going on planetarily with the Schumann and solar energies. And as this higher energy hits our body, which is very dense, our body doesn't really know what to do with it. And so it's very common for our body to try to shut that energy out because it views this energy as foreign. Our bodies don't know how to process this high frequency information. And so when we start to tense against that energy, we can cause more discomfort in our physical structures uh, because our body is literally trying to keep this high vibrational energy out because it thinks it's an invader. It doesn't know what to do with it. So if you are noticing that you're becoming more sensitive to these energies and you're noticing more ascension symptoms, one thing that my guides have been telling me and working with my clients on is just encouraging us to just relax our body. And I was noticing it because the energies have been so intense the past two weeks. And I was noticing just sitting on the couch watching TV that all of my muscles were tensed, mm -hmm. like my shoulders. And I was all like stiff as a board. And I just caught myself one day and I'm like, what is going on? And I was, it was my body tensing up against these energies. And I hadn't realized how much my whole, all my muscles were just knotted up, resisting these energies that were coming in. And so of course it was screwing up my neck and my back was all jacked up and everything hurt because I was literally tensing myself so hard against these energies. So what the Pleiadians have been kind of telling me to do to help ease some of these symptoms is just to relax. You know, just to notice when you're stressing or tensing a particular part of your body and just give it that manual override that it's okay to relax into these energies. And it really did help me move through some of that, that period of just where I was tensing everything up, um, just to kind of relax into the energies and just tell your body it's okay to process this energy. So anyway, these are very, very common. Everyone is experiencing them in different flavors <laughs> of crazy. So just know that it is very normal for what we're going through just as an evolving species and also with these energies that are hitting the planet right now. So anyway, if you're super sensitive to them, keeping an eye on the Schumann resonance can be helpful just so you know what to expect and also keeping an eye on the solar energies. So that way, you know, a day might be more challenging for you and you can remind yourself to just relax into the energies a little more to just make it a little more easy on yourself. So that's kind of how I look at and process ascension symptoms. How about you, Yaila? That's really awesome, Peyton. I'm so glad that you're like making some points that I was gonna make. So I'm glad you kind of started how you did. Um, for, for me, ascension symptoms are an interesting thing because I remember when I first started classes and our teachers talked about growth periods, which we did a previous video on. I was like, oh yeah, growth period, whatever. I'm not, um, I'm someone who just like rolls with stuff really easy. I'm pretty easy going, go with the flow. Like I don't really have a lot of weird like food sensitivities or any like out of the normal stuff happen. And so I just remember in that I'm like, some people are just extra sensitive and they just, in my mind, at the beginning of my journey, I'm like, oh, they're just like super sensitive to everything. Um, but when I start going through my own, I'm like, oh, okay, this is no joke. <laughs> some of these energies that you go through. And um, some of the things that I was kind of surprised by um, were the, I think the biggest thing that shifted for me was my sensitivity to alcohol, because when I first started my um, spiritual journey, I'm, I've never been like a huge drinker, but, you know, going in your twenties and your thirties, you got with friends and you'll have like a couple different drinks. And I was always more like, like a vodka kind of mixed drink, you know, person, like I could pretty much drink anything and it was fine. There wasn't that big of a, a deal. Um, it would, obviously I would get kind of buzzed fast, but, um, I would never really get sick off alcohol. And then starting the clairvoyant classes, I noticed I wasn't really drinking a ton just because I felt 
just more tired and I was coming through working kind of like being burnt out from my job. So it was like one of those things where I didn't know if I was burnt out from my job or if I was going through ascension symptoms, but I just remember going through like this really big burnout phase and I just pretty much stopped being social. I stopped going out with friends and things like that. Um, my job got really hard and like simple tasks of like sitting in a cubicle from nine to five was almost like impossible for me. And I realized after researching Ascension symptoms, some of these things that I thought were just me not being able to hang anymore were actual Ascension symptoms. So things like getting really sensitive to different foods that normally wouldn't be sensitive for you. Alcohol was like the big one where any type of hard alcohol I would drink, I would get sick. It didn't matter if I ate, it didn't matter if I hydrated, my body was just like, nope, we can't hold this frequency anymore. And so I would, I would get like super duper sick. And to the point now where my body's like a beer or two more than that, it's almost like, nope, it doesn't like any of that. Um, some foods, like if it has a lot of chemicals in it, my body got really, really sensitive to that too. It never, it never had that. Um, the job, the nine to five job. And I've seen memes out there where it's like, oh, you know, you can't work a normal job anymore. You lost all your friends. Like, welcome to your spiritual awakening. And I was just like, now I can laugh about it because that literally was my life. I'm like, I can't do this job anymore. I couldn't, you know, like my friendships changed, even just the dynamic. And again, it wasn't because the people were good or bad. It was just our frequencies were so different that going into big crowds became really uncomfortable for a while. Um, you know, even like time, like getting rushed to places like crowds, like even being around people drinking. If I wasn't drinking, it was just like, I was really sensitive to all of these things to where I had to take, um, I kind of, when I left my, my company that I was coaching for and, and went off on my own, I pretty much slept, no joke, for like an, a year and a half. Like most, I would probably take three or four naps a day just because my body was recalibrating. There was so much going on. Um, so ascension symptoms can be really interesting. Now I notice, now that I understand the symptoms and I notice um, fluctuations, I'll, I'll get like headaches sometimes or kind of like fuzziness or fogginess in my, in my brain. I'll kind of like feel a difference in how my brain is operating. And then lately I've, I'll, I'll catch where it's almost like you're in almost a dream state where your depth perception is a little bit different, or it's almost like a lucid dream type of energy where <laughs> there's like no time, like time is kind of fluid. Um, you know, so, so it's almost like your time perception can be off or one, and it's not like consistent, but it'll just like come in waves sometimes. Um, ringing in your ears is also a really common one. You'll kind of get that high pitched tone and, um, you know, sometimes I'll feel just like chills through my body. It's almost like that, um, the winks from the universe of those God bumps. Sometimes I'll just get those when I think of something and I'll have like some kind of synchronistic, whether it's like repeating numbers or I'm thinking about the person, I'll get like those goosebumps. And then, you know, the person will text or call and I'm just like, oh, this is kind of fun. You know, so there's some fun ones too. It's not all like horrible. Um, but yeah, you can definitely notice like your, your energy shift more tired. Sometimes I'm more wired. I know I get, I'm extra sensitive around full moons. Now I used to not be that sensitive, but I get insomnia around full moons. And it's just now I laugh about, it. I'm like, Oh, yep. Moon energy is changing. I'm like feeling that energy for sure. Peyton, like you were mentioning when the Schumann residence changes, I definitely feel that too, depending on like how much the planet is being zapped. Um, but yeah, ascension symptoms can literally impact different levels of your life. And I know some people, they'll feel like flu-like symptoms. They feel like they got like a really strong cold. Um, sometimes I'll just feel like extra dehydrated, even though I've drank a bunch of water and I'm fine, but for whatever reason, I can't like quench my thirst. Like there's just really interesting things that pop up. Um, but to highlight some of the fun ones, you know, those little confirmation bumps, those winks in the universe, um, little synchronicities that will pop up. Those are some key ones. And 
um, sometimes I'll just get like flashes of images that'll pop up. And then, you know, for example, like if I'm driving down the road, I might just get like an image of a person I might see. And, you know, when I, was, when I bartend, sometimes a regular will come in that I haven't seen for a while. I'm like, oh, I just, I literally got their image, like pop in, the, in my mind, driving down the road. So it's kind of like those fun little things too. So Ascension symptoms can show up in a lot of different ways. My number one thing, kind of similar to what Peyton was saying, just be gentle with yourself. If your body is needing more rest, give your body more rest. You know, if you've, I noticed when I started making plans with people, sometimes if it was too far in advance, um, and when the time came, I'm like, wow, I don't have the energy for that. And I just had to start telling my friends, like, listen, it's nothing personal. My body's just kind of shifting right now. So I don't want to confirm if I can't actually go, but can we touch base like closer to the time frame, just so I could give my body that space and that um, leeway to really just really honor what it needed. Um, salt baths is another really big one. Epsom salt baths is, is huge. I try to do an Epsom salt bath with every new moon. It's kind of become like my ritual and it's just setting the new intention of just being more in alignment with my intentions and just kind of clearing the energy from my body, my space. And then sometimes I just need more of those throughout, throughout the week, if I'm going through some, some serious energy. So just giving my body what it needs, more rest, Epsom salt baths, and more like plant-based food seem to help me. Um, those were just some of the, my go-to things, but, uh, how about you, Corey? What are some of yours? Um, oh, ladies, I, I love everything that you've said tonight. And, you know, uh, Yaila, I'm, I, I, I used to be much like you, you know, I'm working in the film industry in 80 hour weeks and it didn't matter if you were tired. I mean, I, it didn't matter if I was tired, you know, I just pushed my body, push, push, push my body. And then when I started doing, you know, classes and that sort of thing, um, I did become more sensitive. I mean, I was really sensitive to energies. I, I mean, I didn't know what they were, where they were coming from or what was gonna happen or what, you know, what it was. And that was at the beginning of that, you know, sensitivity. And then, um, and then started the, actually the clairvoyant program. Actually, it was probably just before that. You know, I've been doing some shaman classes and um, we had the great American eclipse. And I was so excited and I was so energized. I could feel it a lot. And I didn't know any better. I mean, I, I, I really, I didn't know anything about ascension symptoms until after this, of course. So I decided to meditate in the great American eclipse. And oh my gosh, I got hit so hard in a good way and a not so good way. So um, I got really energized and I mean, it was unbelievable. But Ascension, you know, what, what, you know, Ascension symptoms is when we are working on our body and dumping out a lot of the dense energy from our body and our spirit body grows a lot faster than our physical body. So Ascension symptoms is our physical bodies trying to catch up with our, our spirit body, um, which grows a lot faster. So with this, a great American eclipse, great idea meditation, my spirit body grew in leaps and bounds. And I was so energized. But I woke up the next day and um, I got a rash. And then the rash grew. And then I wasn't able to eat um, hardly any food. Um, if anything that I put in my, my, um, in my body, my body felt like it was burning. This went on for quite a while and ended up that, you know, um, I found out later that, um, that my spirit body had grown so fast that my, uh, physical body from that American, the great American eclipse meditation and my spirit body growing so fast, so high, so fast, that my body turned acidic because it, it, it couldn't keep up. 
So it took a while because my, my head was still in that mindset of, um, wow, that's weird. What happened? Why is this happening? Not thinking about um, uh, the spiritual aspect of it until I got into the clairvoyant program. And that's when it was like, oh, but that went on for, oh, at least a year. You know, there was only certain foods just like Dayula was talking about. And I remember it happened with Peyton too, is because, um, you know, we we're all together going, how are you? What? I can't eat this anymore. But, you know, it went on for about a year where there was just a lot of foods that I couldn't eat. And tired. Oh my gosh, I was so tired. That's when I started listening to my body, you know, eating the foods that my body wanted or that could handle. And when I was tired, you know, taking a nap. And, um, but, you know, I, I too, I got just really sensitive. So um, I always uh, tell that story to my clients and my students about the great American eclipse, brilliant idea. But I, you know, what I learned was, is that how fast our, our spirit bodies can grow and how our physical bodies don't grow at the same pace. Um, I, you know, I too, I get, I know that when I'm uh, having ascension symptoms, when I get, um, I call them my angel bumps. And, but not just randomly, like I get the angel bump that will last, it lasts maybe a week or so, I'll just be sitting there and all of a sudden I get the angel bumps. I'm like, oh, oh, what's this? Oh, my body is shifting. So it's the body, you know, growing with the spirit body. So I get the angel bump. Um, I do go through periods where I need a nap a day or maybe sometimes two naps a day. Um, I need more water and the human residence, you know, there was a, a while back where us ladies, when we were first discovering this, hope you don't mind ladies me telling this, but, you know, we would all call each other and we'd say, okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this today, or I'm feeling really weird today. Are you feeling that? We did that actually this past week. And that's what's wonderful, wonderful about, you know, going to classes and, you know, having um, friends to go through it with. And so then we started figuring out the human resonance. Now, when I first started um, doing my whole clairvoyant journey, when the human resonance, which is the, the vibration of Mother Earth, because it has its own frequency because everything is energy, um, the Earth has its own frequency. And when it it, and Mother Earth is changing right now. It's ascending as well. But when when the the numbers would get really high and the, the Earth was, Mother Earth was vibrating at a really high um, uh, frequency, oh my gosh, I'd be out cold. Like I couldn't, like I was out. I couldn't handle it. And yet, and then when it went back to normal, I would have energy. But as we do this work, and we start taking in more light into our physical body and our spirit bodies grow. And, um, you know, we, we get rid of the energy that doesn't serve us anymore. What happens for me now is that when the human resonance is really high, I have a lot of energy. And when it's at its base rate, you know, when it's lower, sevens, eight, I'm so tired. So energy is always changing. So with our sun, uh, ascension symptoms, it doesn't mean that they're always going to be the same thing all the time. Just like you know, when I first started, when the when the when the Earth's frequency was at its base rate, seven point eight three hertz, um, I had plenty of energy. But when it would go high, I'd be out. And now it's the opposite. So. Uh, I always know, yeah, plant-based diet when I'm doing those ascension, when I have the ascension symptoms, it's just, or eating foods, lighter foods, you know, that, that helps the body. And I too, Peyton, lately, you know, have been catching myself like just all my muscles, 
you know, tensing up and not even realizing it. So I love the angel bumps. The angel bumps always are like, um, the tiredness, you know, we gotten used to it, you know, working 80 hour weeks anymore. No, no, my body doesn't like it anymore. And it has taught me to pay attention to my body and what it needs as opposed to um, just running it ragged. Like there's no time, no time to be tired. There's no time, you know, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. Now, as, um, as we've gone along this journey, I know for me that um, I've actually uh, learned how to take care of myself a lot better. And the ascension um, symptoms um, are a big catalyst for that. But at first it's like, wait, what's this? And even sometimes now it's like, oh, wait, what was that? I feel something. What was that? Then, you know, realize, oh, okay. I'm in a growth period. We had a video about that too before. Um, but what's wonderful is that we, uh, us ladies, you know, we're able to call one another and talk about it or ask each other. And then even if it's not comfortable, we've learned to laugh at it just because, you know, we're not doing it by ourselves. The whole planet is shifting right now. Every single person, animal, plant, you know, everything, um, sea creatures, everyone is ascending right now because the vibration of the planet and the universe is raising. And so you're not crazy. <laughs> These are called ascension symptoms. That's why we're talking about it tonight. All right, ladies, do you have anything else that you'd like to input? Well, I think something that is so funny about ascension symptoms is um, that I didn't realize like when I was first starting to do this work is that so many of us who are drawn to intuitive work tend to be on the sensitive end of the spectrum to begin with of humanity. And then we start doing all of these processes and tools and learning to get more sensitive and then we're shocked that our physical body is more sensitive. And so it, it just dawned on me one day, I'm like, okay, we started out hypersensitive. Then we learned all the intuitive tools and got more sensitive. Can't imagine why I feel a little weird. <laughs> it's just, it is part of, it's part of as we get more sensitive so that we can connect to spirit and our higher self and all that good <laughs> stuff that we're trying to do requires greater sensitivity. Well, greater sensitivity is sensitivity on every level. And so we just have to kind of pull back and go, yeah, oh yeah, I wanted this. <laughs> and then, you know, have a sense of humor about it. Yaila always talks about staying in amusement um, because then, you know, once we relax the body, get out of that, you know, fight or flight mode, um, we can deal with it more easily. And the symptoms are more tolerable and we just realize it's part of our it's part of our ascension this is part of what we signed up for and once we release any resistance to it it's not nearly as bad so we asked for this yay <laughs> and i'm laughing so hard pain because that literally was me when i was just like oh, i'm not that sensitive like i had it in my mind i wasn't sensitive and then come to find out like no you're super sensitive to like everybody's energy <laughs> and everything that you've been feeling these years like it's stuck in your space. <laughs> so yeah, it was a, it was definitely a, an eye opener when I first was learning about, oh, this is my energy. This is other people's energy. And now I'm getting myself even more sensitive. Um, it is, yeah, it's, it's a process. <laughs> and um, you definitely become more sensitive to even like if there is other energies in the room. So we've, we've talked about like spirit guides and beings and stuff like that. Um, I'll notice like little glimpses of light, like in my peripheral vision. So sometimes I'll get that, um, mm. you know, that's another ascension symptom we, we didn't talk about. And I feel like my compassion for people has really um, up leveled, you know, so as we've talked, obviously, you know, your ascension is your spiritual awakening and it's raising your consciousness. And when you're more conscious of, how people are really operating. I feel like one of the beautiful benefits is now I feel like I see people at their core. So even when they're going through their stuff and they're having a rough day, like I can kind of 
see where that's coming from. And I have way more compassion for people and I take it way less personal than I used to. Like before really being a sensitive person, if somebody was having a bad day and they spoke really harshly around me, I would internalize that. And it felt really, really harsh in my space. And, you know, it still can, but now I can, you know, understand where that's coming from. And, you know, so it's like you feel it, but then you're able to, you know, not have to, um, carry it so heavily as I used to before. So those are just a couple more. Well, and you know, what's interesting as well is I was, you know, I've always been a very outgoing person. Yeah. And I wasn't allowed to be sensitive growing up and sense being sensitive meant that you're weak. And so I was always fighting being sensitive, but I was really sensitive, but I'd always, like I said, I'd always push myself. And what, how I am now is I'm more of a hermit than I used to be, you know, handling the energy out, you know, out in the world. Can I do it? Yeah. Do I want to do it? Sometimes not. And I've come to realize that, you know, my sensitivity, um, it does not make me weak at all. It's my superpower and it's everybody's superpower. You know, we, you're being sensitive is a superpower and you get to feel the ascension symptoms too. <laughs> <laughs> so just remember when you're feeling those, you know, ascension symptoms, you're like, woo, I'm upping my superpower. <laughs> I'm going to say true. that next time, Corey. <laughs> I'm like, you guys tired? I'm feeling my superpower. <laughs> Oh, upgrade on the superpower Love happening it. now. <laughs> oh, anything else, ladies? No. Well, we are so glad that you uh, have joined us in this video, and we have so many other videos that uh, we are doing and have done on so many other topics about energy, and so. We'd like to see you again. Please like, like I said, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>